Just going to do a real quick video here on this Ed Fenninger. We like to call him Ed Fakinger. He's just, I don't know what happened to Ed. Uh, you know, he used to like, like a lot of his stuff, but he's just gone off the deep end. He just has like taken it upon himself to just attack me. Uh, he's attacking anybody that teaches repentance, has any part of salvation. He's going off here. There he's attacking me again, right there. He's attacking Brother Greg Miller. Brother Greg did a great job answering that nonsense. He's saying I teach hard believism. This and this and you know I'm I'm a Calvinist now. <laughs> Drifting to Calvinism. <laughs> okay. You know, even though I did a sermon that predestinated to not be a Calvinist. And and Fenninger is just taking I've watched a few of these and it's just it's absurd. I mean he just sitting there picking apart every little word and well this and that. It's it's all philosophical all this nutty nonsense. Let me show you something else here. Here you have Ed's Google Plus account. I blocked him a long time ago, right there, because I just don't need to waste my time with people that are just going to come in and cut up my videos and whatever else. But yet he's playing my current videos, which tells me that Ed has some kind of a hidden secret account and everything. Now, you know, I'm okay with people hiding their their faces if they if you want to be anonymous on YouTube and whatever you put up an anonymous picture that's fine but you know Ed's making videos he's not anonymous all right so he's using this as his main picture main channel account but then he goes on to my channel and I don't even know who what his other name is but he's going on somehow and he's clicking on my videos and watching them what's the deceit all about there Ed I mean you want to go over here Show you a little scripture. I speak, Jesus answered him, I speak openly to the world. I ever taught in the synagogue and in the temple, whither the Jews always resort. And in secret have I said nothing. Well, what's the deal here? I mean, why not just preach the gospel yourself? Or as Brother Greg Miller said to hey, Ed, why don't you just go out and preach the gospel to the lost world? Just go out and say, uh, there's no need to turn from the sins that you are committing there, sodomites or whatever else. Just believe in Jesus. And, of course, Ed, you know, he falls for uh, a lot of the uh, Martin Richling satanic heresies that, that prayer is a work. You know, you just you don't even have to pray to God. You just start believing that you're saved and you're automatically in. But if you dare say anything about turning from sin or you're going to have to have a changed life, and, it, and the gospel is about a changed life too, by the way, um, but if you do teach that, oh, you're somehow evil and bad. See, this this is satanic nonsense right here. Okay, I don't know what happened to Ed Fenninger. Um, I, I just he's gone off the deep end. Uh, if you're watching him, you you've got some serious problems. Okay, I can tell you that. Uh, it's it's a it's a grief to me to see a guy that um, once stood for the King James Bible just to fall apart like this. Um, get out in the real world, Ed, and see how it works telling lost people that they don't need to change. I've dealt with lost people and they understand the need that they have to change their life, that salvation means a changed life, and that's why they reject Jesus Christ. Okay? <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. I mean, according to this guy here, Ed Fenninger, um, all the sodomite churches out there, they're all saved because they just believe. All it takes is belief. There's no changed life involved with salvation. Satanic nonsense. And, you know, get off my channel, okay? Get a life, Fenninger. You know, sneaking around with little hidden accounts and hidden things. When I block this one, then you come in with another little hidden account. I mean, grow up.